What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so good, and I hope you're so ready to just get your minds blown with how many Charizards we're gonna pull today. <laughs> At least all I can do is hope, right? Guys, we have so much product to open, and you know it's Champion's Path time. We've opened all other sets in the first, second, and third parts of this Charizard hunt, and honestly, to no success. <laughs> but today is different. Today is different. We have old product we've already seen, like this dub wool box. We have new pin collections, like this Sir Chester. Chur Sir Chester? <laughs> is that how you say it? We have not seen this box yet. New bit gym badges. We have a total of six of the other gym badge boxes. And we have a full ETB that we are opening no matter what today. And just in case, we have a sealed pin collection box that we can crack into. And guys, if we seriously don't pull a Zard in all of this, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> but guys, hope you're so excited. Hit that luck button, you know the deal. I'm gonna need every single one of your guys' luck today to end the Charizard hunt, kind of. I have big news to show you later on in the vid, and it's just gonna be so much fun. And also, if this is your first time, hit that subscribe button. Join the Omash Nation, I'm so glad you're here, and I would love and appreciate your support. So let's start cracking into some boxes here, get some packs of flying, and let's pull some Zards. All right guys, first things first, here is your guys' code cards. Whoa, what was I doing? <laughs> Enjoy those. And we have the double box open, so these four packs, and then the ETB 10 packs with, of course, this lovely Charizard. Oh, this looks really nice. Really, I've had really good luck with my Charizard promos. A lot of people have not. Uh, but excited to have that one again, and here we go. We don't have luck with the dub with the collection boxes really So we're gonna open this first because we have a lot to talk about I have a bunch of questions from you guys the Omash Nation regarding questions that you guys have asked in last video remember if you guys got that far I asked you guys to um, ask questions that I can answer and talk about in this vid because we have a lot of things <laughs> a lot of packs to open and honestly not a lot of heat just like that we there's just not so many normal pulls when it comes to champions path so I figured it'd be fun to have a nice little Q&A you know give us some extra stuff to talk about man the the, the double boxes <laughs> the code cards are always backwards but here we go guys, Champion's Path, the latest and greatest. I love this set already, even though it's small. It's just such a fun, ooh, VMAX number one, the Alchemy. Guys, I love myself some birthday cake, but we have pulled several of those. <laughs> that was probably the only hit, hit, pull in the box. Um, but yeah, even though this is a small set, it's still super fun to open, and it's a Charizard hunt. So we have to go for the latest, hottest Charizards in town with that shiny Charizard V and the rainbow Charizard V Max. Oh, guys, if we actually pull those today, I'll be so stoked. I'm actually pretty disappointed because <laughs> the first time we did a Charizard hunt, it was absolute flames. Nothing but heat. We pulled every single Charizard that we wanted. Um, but this time around, we have not been as lucky and it's just been kind of dry. But it's okay because we are gonna keep on going and we're gonna stay, keep on being positive. We have so many packs to open today. I would be shocked if we really don't pull any. But I say that anytime I have a ton of packs of a certain set. Hidden Fates, for example. <laughs> Thousands of packs and still have not pulled that freaking Charizard. I don't know what the dealio is, but Hidden Fates just hates me. It's not meant to be. But you know what? It's fine. It's all a part of the hunt, part of the journey. The harder it is to achieve your goals, the more meaningful it is, right? <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself. Who knows? No way! We did it! So soon! My voice! <laughs> Guys, there it is! We're only like six packs in and we just got the Charizard we're in for! Let's go! Charizard V 
Max Hyper Rare. <laughs> Holy smokes! Guys, that is beautiful. Oh, man. I'm freaking out. I did not expect that at all. The centering looks great. The card looks immaculate. Oh, baby. Holy cow. I can't believe it. My body is just like shivering up and down with chills, guys. Amazing! Ah! Gotta sleeve this up in the Charizard sleeve from the ETV, ETB. Finally, a successful Charizard pulled. And this, guys, is honestly the one I wanted to pull the most. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous with the VMAX. <laughs> guys, it's all thanks to you. Homage Nation, it's all thanks to you. That is amazing. One down so early in the video. And can we get more? <laughs> oh, yes! Guys, I can't even believe that. Woo! See, that is what it's all about right there. Hunting and hunting and hunting, trying to get that card that you want the most. There is no better feeling than pulling it. Oh my gosh, that high I feel right now is so much fun. The best feeling in the world. And it's all produced by Pokemon cards. <laughs> Some people would sit there, laugh at you at, oh, a full art hop as well. We don't have this one yet. Such a cool card. I love full arts and back to back pulls guys. Man, what an ETB. Now there's no way we're getting anything else <laughs> in the remaining packs, but oh, what was I saying? Some people would just sit and laugh at you uh, if you told them that you get this excited and like crazy about Pokemon cards, but really there is nothing like it. Oh, I talk about it all the time. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm, I'm starting to sweat. I'm just so excited. Oh! Um, just the fact that you buy a pack, you have no idea what's inside, and then you're pulling a card one by one, no idea what you're about to come on, and it's just either amazing or not. <laughs> and it's so fun when you actually do pull that amazing card. Oh gosh, guys. Can I just stare at that Charizard real quick? That is a beaut. I don't know, I've heard that some people do not like the look of the Gigantamax Charizard. I'm like, you guys are crazy. This just is amazing. And his attack, he shoots a freaking Moltres out of his mouth. I mean, come on, it looks so good. Now, we've, we got the rainbow. Can we get the shiny? Can we get another rainbow? <laughs> That'd be crazy. I saw Jordan Fringe pull two in one uh, one sitting. But um, yeah, absolutely wild. Whew. I will have to say that I'm 100% stoked for the shiny variant coming out in uh, Shiny Star V and whatever the English set is called next year. It looks amazing. It is that same artwork, Gigantamax VMAX, but it's shiny. Oh, it looks so good. A black Gigantamax Charizard in a card. Can you believe it? It's gonna be amazing. Expect another Graplock V, I'll take it. Uh, another big Charizard hunt is on its way. Now, regarding Shiny Star V, all the pre-orders are already swamped. The, even the Japan side of things, which you don't see too often, they are raising their prices on the pre-orders because everyone wants this new set. It's a, a Hidden Fates 2. Everyone's gonna go crazy for it, and man, it's wild seeing that the Japanese side of things are even just raising their prices. You don't see that too often, at least in my experience but I also haven't been here for too long. <laughs> but hopefully I can get my hands on some. I have my friend over in Japan looking out for me, uh, but we will see what happens. I will do whatever it takes for you, Omash Nation, for you! But guys, 14 packs in, and we got this bad boy, Charizard number one. Beautiful. 
so stoked about it. Let's open some more product and keep on going because I need to answer your guys' questions. All right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, Omash Nation, there's your code card. We opened up the new Sir Chester uh, box. This is the first time here on Omash Nation, so I thought we'd uh, go a little slow, show you the promos. Love the Colossal. <laughs> it kind of looks kind of funny, but love the promo pattern. I mean, look at that, Lapras too. Very good job on the promos. Stoked for those. And then the two pins, very nice, very nice. Those are going in my pin collection frame. And this box comes with five cards, five packs. So let's see what the pull rates are. Just, uh, you know, take it nice and slow. Let it do its thing and we will see if we can pull anything from it. Now it did cut, this box came out with another one with two more um, gym badges and the Gengar and some other promo I can't remember, but my card shop only had the one when it came out, so I have not obviously gotten the other one yet. I will need it though, because I do need those gym badges and we have to open them to see what the pull rates are like. But, um, whew. I seriously cannot believe we pulled the Chars out already. That ETB was insane. We got a full art hop and the rainbow Charizard. But, oh, can we pull the shiny now? Don't leave, Omash Nation, I still need your luck. Yikes, that pack just kind of went crazy. We have had super crazy luck though when it comes to Champion's Path. I've seen openings where people just have not pulled any rainbows yet. All they do is pull full arts and Vs, Malamar, Oh, there, another rainbow, guys. The Gardevoir, very nice. I love this card. One we don't have yet, too. I was just gonna say that we have not pulled um, any Pokemon rainbows other than this now Gardevoir and the Charizard. We have pulled two Piers and the Kabu. But wow, what a box. A rainbow hit. Uh, I was going to continue saying that every single opening of Champion's Path that we have done so far, we've pulled a rainbow. And that is insane luck, guys. I've seen people open Rhyme Style in particular. He has not pulled that many rainbows at all, and he's opened hundreds of packs by now. Trubbish Altaria. So I, we are we're so blessed here at Omash Nation to be pulling these crazy pulls and to do so celebrating one year on YouTube. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Lipar, Team Yelgram, Volpix, guys, I'm so thankful for you guys. I would not be here if it weren't. What? Two rainbows in a single box. Can you believe that? This is craziness. This is wild. This is going to be the best homage opening Ever. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are three rainbows deep and we've only opened 17 packs. No, my math is terrible. 19 packs. <laughs> I cannot believe this. We have to open some more pins and go for that shiny now or some more rainbows. Guys, this is so awesome. All right, guys, the last packs, I think, of Champion's Path have been opened. Here are all of your code cards. Good luck with the pulls on your end. Hopefully you're as lucky as we are right now. <laughs> Three rainbows, I cannot believe it. And we have so many more to go. This last stack were the pin boxes from the unsealed box. We still have the sealed box <laughs> of the uh, three pack pin boxes. So if we really need to, we can open those. But I think no matter what happens, that will probably stay sealed for today. And we will end this Charizard hunt <laughs> with this high note, double Scrafty. Now, guys, I have to get to some of your guys' questions. I just cannot believe what's happened today. After such a dry streak for three Charizard hunt vids, we finally pull a crazy Charizard, the one I wanted most, honestly. And holy smokes, it was amazing. I still just feel way too happy. <laughs> But like I said, it's all thanks to you guys. I would not be here if it weren't for you. So thank you, Omash Nation. This is for you. 
Oh, freak, I still have to show you guys, too, uh, that special surprise for next video. <laughs> Man, there's just too many things to do, guys. No chance! I'm starting to think something is up here. What is happening? Suspicious food tin gold secret rare. <laughs> First time pulling this bad boy, and all oh, that is so awesome. Oof, I'd hate to take a sip of that thing. I already have stomach probs. <laughs> but that is such a cool card. You know I love my golds. And the first time pulling it, what a time to do so. I mean, we're pulling everything else right now. <laughs> wow, guys. Okay, the perfect time to take a break. I have to show you something epic. And this is going to be happening Thursday in two days to celebrate one year on YouTube. Look at this right here. Yeah, it's just glare. <laughs> Boom, guys, this is where it all started. Base set Japanese booster pack in the flesh, sealed, unweighed, and it's going down. We are opening this on Thursday to celebrate one year of YouTube, one year of the Omash Nation, one year of complete fun and happiness and good times. I had to get something epic like this to celebrate. I hope you're so stoked, but <laughs> you thought I stopped there. You thought I stopped there. This baddie, glare. <laughs> Boom, guys! The English base set. Now, this pack is extra special, guys. It is heavy. That's right, you heard me right. Heavy. There is a guaranteed, hopefully, hollow foil in this pack. We could pull a Charizard. We could pull this bad Venusaur. We could do Blastoise or any of the other 13 hollows in this base set. It's going to be epic. You're not going to want to miss it. Hit that subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss this insane celebration that I got together for you. Oh, I'm so stoked. Heavy base set pack. I just want to open it right now. I, it's taking literally everything inside me to not open it. <laughs> but okay guys, hope you're so stoked. Thursday is gonna be one of the most crazy and fun openings here on Omash Nation. I mean, it's gonna be wild because honestly, this vid is probably one of the best vids in Omash Nation history. We've just been so lucky and it's been so awesome. I'm so glad you're here to share this with me. Hatterene. But, whoo! Can you believe it? Who is stoked for Thursday? Guys, hit that like button if you are ready for some base set nostalgic craziness. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I pull a starter, let alone the Charizard. Ooh, shiny, like a rock. That's why I said that it's technically a Charizard hunt part five. <laughs> we could pull the base set Japanese Charizard and the base set English Charizard if things get crazy. Woo! I'm so excited. Really, after this, I just, hey, hey, another cake to celebrate. That's what it's for. I will take more than one piece of cake for sure. Man, if I could, guys, I wish I could just throw a party with every single one of you guys. Whew. Um, because that's just what I want to do. <laughs> Eat cake with the Omash Nation. That'd be awesome. Swablu, man, I thought I'd have a hard time talking through the Champion's Path, but this Champion's Path opening has been non-stop. Non-stop, guys. Now, this would be the craziest opening in Omash, probably like YouTube history, pulling both the shiny Charizard and the rainbow. Can we do it? We probably could if Oh, what? Another one? Two suspicious food tin gold cards. Holy cow. This opening just keeps on getting crazier and crazier and crazier. <laughs> My mind is just nuts. It's going, it's all over the place right now. I don't even know what to do. Oh, man. These pin boxes have not been clutch for us in the past, but... 
This time, they, it's given us two golds so far and a VMAX. That's not bad at all. We still have plenty of packs to open too. Whew. I was saying if we actually did crack open the um, sealed box that I have. Hey, first time pulling the Venusaur. I will take it. The happiest little pup <laughs> in town. Whew, I love Venusaur. If we actually open the sealed box that I'm probably not going to tap into, we probably could pull another Charizard, but this video has been plenty epic, plenty wild. <laughs> and so I think we are good to call Charizard Hunt part four. It just over, it's, it's done. We have a few more packs left. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and quickly go through some of these questions. Um, Matt Marlowe asks, how many years do you think Hidden Fates will get printed if you were going to guess? That is a really good question because everyone loves Hidden Fates and it's just never, it never gets old. And it's so hard to pull every single card in that set. And so I, see, I can see Pokemon reprinting it for at least another year. But with the new Hidden Fates 2 coming out next year, that could be a perfectly good reason to stop reprinting it. Um, because there will be a new set full of a whole nother shiny vault, essentially. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. But honestly, I will take as many reprints <laughs> of Hidden Fates as I can get. I do not get sick of that set. And we still haven't pulled the Charizard, so. Keep on coming, Pokemon. He also asked a second question. What are the top five, five modern sets to invest in? That's a very good question. Um, Investment-wise, Anything with a Charizard is a very safe bet. Everyone loves Charizard, and any Charizard is hard to pull, and so the sets that contain a Charizard will just keep on going up, like XY Evolutions. Um, Burning Shadows, Unbroken Bonds, those three sets right there, are. They've already gone up in price a crazy ton since they've come out. Not not evolutions because Pokemon just has so many of them, but it is gonna go up. So anything with the Charizard, um, obviously anything Hidden Fates that you can find, that is just gonna keep on going up. It doesn't matter how many reprints uh, Pokemon's gonna do. It really doesn't. Uh, let's see, so that's four sets right there. Um, probably Cosmic Eclipse. Um, just because there are so many alternate arts, there is a Charizard in there as well. Um, the secret rare character cards, even though they started cheap and are still pretty cheap, I feel like they're gonna blow up sometime soon. They're just amazing looking cards, and it's the biggest set in Pokemon history. So that, by itself, has to mean something, right? So that would be, um... My five, Evolutions, Burning Shadows, Unbroken Bonds, Cosmic Eclipse, and Hidden Fates. Pretty good lineup, I'd say. <laughs> I love every single one of those sets. Um, so thank you, thanks for the questions. Now let's get back. I mean, we're almost done. I, I won't even be able to answer all the questions again, unless we go super slow. Let's see, Stefan from Facebook. He says, talk about different PSA qualifiers. Now that is interesting. A qualifier is an add-on to your PSA main grade. The most common ones are off-center, OC, and probably MC, miscut. It's not too rare to see those kind of grades, but there I looked it up on PSA and there are a bunch more that I've never seen or even heard of. But we got the OC off-center, so if a card is Printed off center, you could get, just for example, your main grade, let's say it's a 9 OC. The qualifier gets added because it's off center. <laughs> um, we got ST, which means staining. I didn't know this was one, and I've never seen one of these, but if there is a stain on a card and you get it graded, it could get an ST qualifier. But I don't, maybe someone wants a card with a stain, I don't know. Let's see, there's PD, print defect, uh, kind of obvious there. OF, out of focus. So if you submit a blurry card, um, it showed an example of a sports card that was really blurry. It could get a OF qualifier, and it honestly was kind of cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go search out of focus cards right now after this. 
MK means marks, so I guess if there's like a pen or something uh, on a card, it can get that qualifier and then miscut. Um, like in the Hidden Fates, we got that miscut typonal. It was bad. So I'll probably get that graded, submitted in. Uh, maybe it'll come back a miscut. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I definitely don't have any PSA slabs with any of those other qualifiers. Um, it, I just have the main grade. So that's it right there. PSA qualifiers, kind of cool. Let's see, C cool Squirtle Gaming. What's up, dude? This guy, what is one tip you would give a content creator, not just Poketubers, who is trying to build a channel? Man, guys, this could be a whole video in and of itself. There's just so much to say. Um, as we get into our last pack of the vid because this vids already pretty long <laughs> um, I think number one and this is just so cliche and whatever But you have to have fun. It's obvious to people watching your content If you're just there trying to get fame or trying to get money or clout or whatever it is It's obvious it 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 shows right through the camera that you're just doing this for a different reason other than you love it and have a passion for it. Like, that is number one. You have to have fun with anything in life. Don't do something that is just sucking away all of your joy and energy. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Have fun and that honest, true love and joy and excitement will go right in to the people that are watching your content and then the growth just happens naturally. I've seen it here at Omash since I've started and I've seen it on so many other people's accounts that are just continually growing, and if not already huge. Like, if you love it, people will just get sucked in with that good energy, guys. Seriously, that is number one. Love what you're doing and your channel will grow. <laughs> Volpix, Galarian Linoon, thanks for that question. Like I said, I, I'll probably bring that up in another vid because there are so many things I could say to that. <laughs> Full heal, Purloin, last pack, last card of this Charizard Hump Part 4 is an Altaria. Man, we had a pretty dry streak at the end, but it's okay because we were answering your questions and it was super fun. But guys, look at this madness right here. We got two Suspicious Food Tin Secret Rare Golds. Insane. We got the bad boy Charizard. Oh, I'm so stoked about this. This is going instantly to PSA. <laughs> so excited. Kabu full, Hyper Rare again. That is number two. We got the Gardevoir VMAX as well. I cannot believe how many rainbows we got. And then just to put the cherry on top, the free beautiful Charizard from the ETB. Guys, that was so much fun. Finally a Charizard hunt where we sniped some Zards. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for being here and supporting me and the channel. You're all amazing. I love every single one of you guys. Be sure to be here, 12 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, Thursday, because we are going more Charizard hunting, but vintage base set style, guys. These two packs where we know this one is guaranteeing a hollow. It's gonna be awesome. Make sure you're here. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of the Omash Nation and I hope you have the best rest of the day and I will catch you on Thursday.